Okay, WKP, first of all, the name of our crew stands for Woodship Kittens Productions. The original crew with J myself, Jamie, Dan, and PM along with Max. Uh, of course, then uh, we became, uh, with the addition of Pat, we lost PM, and then Matt came along after. Our first project we actually worked on was kind of ambitious. We tried to do the Fosar, which was just a simple montage sequence, which we actually failed at the montage, but just brought on this gigantic horror epic story. We tried to compress it on three minutes, this gig just this complicated story. And uh, to our success, it actually came, it was quite impressive for a film too. I actually kind of uh, was a little unsure at first of how the whole thing would turn out, but um, you know I kind of like I really like the uh, the end result. I just I just took mostly part in the editing, so I did a lot of uh, little graphics, little effects, and graphics that wasn't really uh, that I hadn't really seen yet in, in the the film program. So I was uh, kind of happy to bring that to the table. Basically, we always uh, we always tried to go with a bit of a degree of difficulty. You know, we could always get straight to the point and and do things that are just for that assignment, but we always try to expand and do more and do the most we can with it, with everything we learned and all the equipment we can use. We went for the more of a, what was it, dark comedy kind of thing? Dark comedy, yeah. And, uh, well, we had daytime crooks and different things along the way, but uh, our main ones are, of course, Full Sore and uh, Goons. fun experience, uh, extremely challenging since we were working with the boom mic for the first time and we filmed it in one day. If you stayed behind and clean up the mess, we'd be in the fucking can right now. Why do you have to make everything our problem? Guys! We're kind of like a, a shock team. We like to um, experiment to, and, and challenge ourselves. But not, not only that, but we also like to um, shock the viewer somehow. Like uh, in, in, in Goons, we just executed um, Jamie offhand. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? In daytime crook, we shot the kid too. So I mean, yeah, it's people don't like. They see a, they, they see a grown man go down. They're like, oh, you know, it's part of the movie. They see a kid go down. They're like, ah! It's an unconventional so, approach. You know, exactly. we, we like we like being different. We, we like trying kids. new things. If you're planning on shooting outside, do everything the same day. Try to do everything in the same hour as well. Or else, uh, wait till another day that looks exactly the same, which will never happen. As you just saw in uh, the. the New Paul Scott movie. It was really cold outside. Right, so uh, we're about to uh, film our sci-fi part of our uh, Paul and Scott movie. Um, so I'm currently standing right in front of the light because it's hot and it's cold as hell out here. Well, we're getting ready to shoot um, one of the alien scenes outside and uh, hopefully um, it'll turn out alright. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for film. Uh, I did get frostbite on my middle toe and now I can't feel it again. So it's a pain in the ass. We were outside for a good hour and a half. It's minus 12. Okay, guys, guys, five, four, three, two, one, and action. In our crew, mostly you, you know, assign roles. With our crew, we really do, if, if one person's acting, then another person would film, and then that person would move to lights, and we'd all rotate, because we all pretty much learned and taught each other how to do things, which we, we fed off each other, and it just worked out well. I mean, a lot of people want to direct, I mean, of course, but really, when you really direct, what you have to really think in consideration is just not your ideas, but everyone else's ideas. And you try to merge them together, because if you just direct with your own ideas, sure, it could look good, but it, it depends on what kind of director you are, but I like to merge everyone's ideas, so not only I'm happy, but everyone else is happy. Eddie, you go with your line. You should hey. show the papers, and here we this go. This is the plot. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, cut oh. it. Uh, we'll cut it before you start introducing your plan, because I don't want it told in a master shot, alright? Alright. Sounds good? Sounds good. Cool. So I, I kind of like camera now, but um, I still want to go into editing, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a really big special effects whore, so... Yeah. Me, sound engineer, do camera work, that's my type of stuff I want to do. I've uh, been doing that since the beginning. I want to get into sports broadcasting and different things in radio and this this still kind of helped me you know working in a team and stuff because you still got to do kind of stuff like that when you're when you're working in big studios and productions and different things uh <laughs> i kind of lost my taste for film to be honest uh, i like doing this as a hobby but 
personally pursuing a career in film is not in my future. Uh, I'm probably going to go into carpentry or a metal fabricator or something like that. And Matt? What I would probably like to do is either start to being a director, but that's probably going to be really hard to get into. But directing, editing, actually putting the film together, I really like putting the story together. I really, that's one of my parts I love to do the most. Keep working on the movie out. Ciao.